Yeah, spring break is coming up, so I'm going to teach you how to um, vacation on a budget. Lady Lane back with video number three. Um, today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to vacation or ball on a budget. Um, so we're going to be talking about spring break because spring break is coming up, but these tips can go for um, any video. I mean, not video, my bad, vacation. Um, so it's just to help you plan and to help you um, Save, save, save. So um, before we get started, I want you to ask yourself, why are you going on a vacation? Most of the time we go on vacations because uh, we just want to get away um, from people. We want to go and enjoy friends, family, um, or a special someone. Um, so we want to get away and enjoy all that. But um, when you realize that when you go on vacation, you actually need a vacation from your vacation for the simple fact that we choose to go on vacation where it's opposite of what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to places where it's crowded, um, places where it's a lot of people and it's loud. So why go spend money for what you're trying to get away from? And then at the same time, why spend money on stuff that when you go on vacation, you're doing the exact same thing that you can do in your hometown or what you normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. You lay in the bed, chill out, um, you go out to eat. Um, minus that main major attraction that you do, which is a theme park. So you're standing in line, waiting all day for to do one or two things. You go on those theme parks or... Um, you're waiting for that certain time for there's a, um, a concert or some sort of major attraction that's going on for that specific day. So, I just want to give you guys some tips on how you can vacation going to benefit you. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is your money. How funny is your money or how long is it? Um, you need to think about after all expenses paid for your vacation, um, when you come back, can you live comfortably? Um, you know, can you go back to normal or will you have to wait a little bit or do you have to um, take out a loan, personal loan or something to go on vacation? Do you have to borrow money? If that is the case, boo-boo, you can't go on a vacation. You're going to have to go on a staycation, stay your tail home, and watch some movies, get rid of them churran, or go stay at a friend's house, or down the street, or something, or something, because, boo-boo, you can't afford it. But what you can do is start saving up now for later, Okay? So you can start saving your money, start planning ahead. If you plan ahead, if you plan ahead, you can start getting prices um, at a cheaper rate, flights, um, cruises, hotels. They want to make sure that they're booked up. Um, a good thing is to plan during off seasons, go on off seasons um, where it's not so much. You know, it doesn't cost as much. And um, with that, when you do that, make sure you get insurance. Because with you knowing that it's a um, off-season, you know, cruises, there's hurricanes, there's bad weather, all kinds of stuff like that, that if something was to happen and you can't make your trip, guess what, boo? You don't lost that money. That non-refundable the de big deposit that you put down has been deposited into their account <laughs> and you're in the negative so um 
you need to definitely make sure that you get insurance if you're getting it off season. Now, the next thing you need to think about is who's going with you. Now, I know we said that we want to go on vacation so we can get away from folk. Yeah, but uh, sometimes you have those people in your life that just make a trip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know you got that crazy somebody that every time they go and they come around, they make you happy. They make you laugh or whatever. Even if you're just going for you and the boo. I have on my, um, on my, why can I think of it? Because I just did it last night. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, my vision board. That's what it's called. My vision board. On my vision board, I have a few, um, I have a certain number of family vacations I want to go on. And I have a certain number of bay vacations. You know, where it's just me and the bay. So, think about that when you're going. Um, a lot of times, people don't know that the more people that go, the more expensive it is for the hotels. Um, but we'll get into that a little later. Um, but just think about those people who go, who makes the trip. You know, you want to take those people. You don't want to take those people that kill the trip. <laughs> you know, the ones that are always saying something stupid or got something to say about something, something negative to say. And it's making stupid suggestions about, let's go do this, let's go do that. Why? Just because they got it? I ain't got like that, boo. We come to go on these trips to relax, spend a little bit of money. Because, again, when you get back, you got to live. Them bills. Them bills going to be steady collecting while you on vacation. Them, bi them bills don't go on vacation because you go on vacation. So, remember that. When you out there on vacation, even though I know you need to move, remember that for whenever you decide you want to go. Now, this is the thing. If you can't think of that stupid somebody, Lord forgive me for saying stupid, but that certain somebody, that certain somebody that just you don't want them to go because they're going to they gonna mess up your vacation. Don't let them know. Don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Stop telling all your business. Stop letting folk know because you know. And that person, if you can't think of that person, that person, you. Yep, it's you, boo. Because guess what? How many vacations you been invited to? How many little events have you been invited to? Think about it now. Think about it. Is people inviting you or are you inviting yourself? And then you invite yourself with an offering. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, let's go there. I pay for it. Boo. You don't want that nobody want to go with. You that certain somebody. Get yourself together. Get your own vacation. Plan your own vacation with your own money. And get your own friends. I'm just saying. Maybe you got friends. But if. They ain't inviting you. You need to check yourself. Check your attitude. Check your money. Because one of the reasons you might not be gone because you always been that one that's like, hey, let me get $2. Hey, who got me? Um, You're supposed to have yourself when you go on vacation. A wise woman told me, I don't never go anywhere unless I have enough money to get myself back. So, if you going somewhere and you ain't got enough money to get yourself back, you don't need to go. It's plain and simple as that. Now, you're saying, um, well, Lady Lane, I want to go on a vacation right now. I don't want to wait. Okay. You don't have to wait. You don't even have to do a staycation. You need to find places to go that's cheap. That's not really a um, tourist spot or what people, the main attraction spots, cruises. Everybody want to go to Mexico. Everybody want to go to Jamaica. Everybody want to go to the islands. Everybody want to go to Florida. Everybody want to go to California. Everybody want to go to Vegas, right? Think about those other places that you can go. People, folk want to go to the mountains. Okay, mountains and beach, mountains and the beach. That's pretty much what you do. Mountains and beach, mountains and beach. 
think about other places that you can go. As a matter of fact, I am going to put up some tourist spots that are that are getting underrated, as it says on the clip. Um, it's a little underrated, but just give you some ideas of places that you can go um, that are inside the U.S. That it doesn't, it shouldn't cost you as much, and you can drive to get there. You don't have to take an airplane, or you can take an airplane, and because it's not um, those main spots, maybe the, the, the flights are a little cheaper. So you can do that, but I definitely... And the next thing you need to think about is where you gonna stay. That's something that people don't think about. They just be like, oh, I'm gonna give me a hotel, da 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 da. Like, if you're on a budget, try to do a vacation. Okay, if you're doing a staycation or round away vacation, try to do vacations that are um, near family members, friends. Um, stuff like that where you can go and stay at their house for free or for a small, small fee. You know, just be nice. Don't just go sleep at their house and dirty up their sheets and towels and use their soap and don't contribute nothing towards it. Um, so think about that. And another thing is, and I'm going to put this up as well, something for you. to think about um, rental properties versus hotels did you know that you can get a bigger place save a lot of money and stay longer if you do a rental property versus um, staying at a hotel you may be spending $300 a night at a hotel and they don't even get you no complimentary breakfast you ain't even getting no free breakfast no free dinner they give you a, a $10 off a $50 dish, but I mean, they can give you free food or um, a rental property. You'll have a whole house and um, that's, that goes into as well, who's going. So if y'all do a rental property, you get a whole house, you and a group of friends, if y'all just wanna go hang out and enjoy yourselves, all y'all can pitch in and save money, um, stay longer than you know, you was planning on instead of two days at the beach at a rental property, you can stay for a whole week for the same price, especially if y'all splitting it up. Um, and then, um, what else? I was going to say something about that. Oh, and if you do get a hotel, say you're going to the beach. Yeah, we all want to stunt and be on the ocean front, right? But guess what? You can save your dough if you go two blocks down the road, like, or a block. You already going to walk the strip anyway, so why not just go to the hotel, the Holiday Inn on the beachfront, or the Holiday Inn a block behind? Half the price. Everybody want to stone about that beachfront. Really? If you got the money, go for it, but being a good steward... Mm, I might want to do the block away. I mean, I'm going to walk anyway. So you can do that. And, um, yeah, you can save less money, um, save money if you get a rental property. Nine times out of ten, you can take a whole group. Y'all ain't even got to see each other. Two families, three families, you and your family and your family family can go on a vacation. Y'all ain't even got to see each other. Just go there and sleep and get up the next day and go do what you got to do and come back. Y'all don't have to even do the same thing. Y'all don't have to. You just need somewhere to sleep and somewhere to shower. That's pretty much it. So, with that being said, and um, you need to, even while you're on vacation, think about your money. 
uh, you need to let your money work for you. So when you're out shopping or whatever you're doing, get those credit cards that um, give you cash back or um, give you mileage, especially if you're choosing to go on a cruise or take your airplane somewhere, give you travel mileage. Um, use that. Use that throughout the year to get you ready for next year. That works, right? And um, don't be buying no extra stuff. Don't be buying no extra stuff um, while you out there. I mean, people ain't never seen you in that outfit, your little favorite outfit, that outfit. You know that outfit that make you look cool? Yeah. Them folk ain't never seen you. They probably won't see you again. So wear that same outfit. I mean, and if you want to switch it up a little bit, you know, you can trade out with somebody, you know, switch shirts with your friend or whatever, change the shoes that you normally wear with it, you know, something like that. You don't have to go out and buy new clothes just to go on a vacation. Just wear what you normally wear, the stuff that you look cute in, you know, decent, and go, roll with it. Like I said, them people ain't seen you wear the outfit before. And then they probably won't even see you again. So, you know, don't be wasting money on stuff like that. And don't feel obligated to buy you or anybody else some keepsake from that trip. I'm just saying. You know, you buying those keepsake is robbing Peter. To pay for Paul's sake. That's what that is. Keep your money. Keep your money. You know. Um, you ain't got to be like. Buy me no keychain. No shot glasses. Because first of all that keychain. If I keep putting keychains on my keychain. It's going to mess up my ignition switch. In, on my car. Because it's too heavy. Or if I take it off and put it somewhere, it's going to get lost. You just wasted your money. Or them shot glasses. First of all, I don't drink. So you don't need to bring me no shot glasses back. And then other folk, them shot glasses, okay, we're going to put it up on the shelf. It's going to collect dust or it's going to look like clutter after a while. Save your money. Send them a picture text and say, this is what it was. This is what it is. That's it. If they want a keepsake, send them a text tape. And save your money for Pete's sake. I'm just saying. Putting it out there. That is something that you need to do. Save your money. Save your money. And um, you also want to um, call your cellular phone uh, company. Let them know that you're going out of the country. You're traveling, whatever. So that um, you can change your plan just so you won't get extra charges, hidden fees for being a call your cell phone company. Let them know that you're going on vacation so that um, you can save some money, some hidden fees, roaming charges and all that stuff. You know how they do. Anything to get some extra change. Save your change. Save it. Or you can just get a prepaid or whatever. Why you out there doing your thing? Now, this one is serious. This last one is serious, serious. It's serious, serious, serious. Now, it's called bring your own. Bring your own food. Bring your own whatever it is. Uh, this tip is mainly for those folk first of all when you riding in the car and you got to go driving halfway across the country and you stopping at these stores getting food getting gas and all that stuff you stopping at convenience stores you stopping at uh, restaurants mcdonald's and stuff spending money that you don't need to spend pack you a lunch take it with you pack you some juices all that stuff, you can't pack your own gas, but you can't pack your food, so you don't have, you know how many times you're gonna stop and buy McDonald's or whatever it is? Take you some snacks, put it in the car, 
and eat that. Folk don't know how you got there and what you did while you were there or were getting there. As a matter of fact, the vacation ain't even for the folk. It's for you. So you enjoy it the best way that you can. That's best for you. But you want to... Um, I would definitely say like pack some snacks um, to get you from here to there because you don't start that McDonald's five times. You know about five, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars. 25 dollars worth of meals that you could have waited until you got to your final destination and spent that 25 dollars on a nice restaurant that you ain't never been to. I'm just saying. That's a new experience. You just wasted it at McDonald's or wherever you stop. You stopping at the convenience store getting them overpriced drinks because it's convenient, them overpriced chips. Get you that whole big bag of chips and eat that. So that's what I'm telling you. Bring your own. Bring your own food supply. Even whenever you're there at that hotel, at that, um, that uh, rental property, stock up. You know, go to the local Walmart or whatever they got and get you some food that'll get you started. You know, maybe late night snacks and early morning breakfasts, things like that. I mean, you can have lunch or dinner while you're out there, you know, experiencing new restaurants. You don't want to go out there and stop at Applebee's and you got Applebee's right at home. But you got Mama's Kitchen that you ain't never been to and probably never going to go to. That's something to do. And before I finish this one, before I finish this one, I do want to say, because I just thought about that, um, when you go on your vacations and you plan, everything don't have to be something um, what you got to pay for to go. Look up local um, parks. You can have lunch in the park. Um, you know, things like that, national parks that they have. Um, free art museums, free any type of museum, you know, local whatever that they have going on. Look up, look at, look up wherever you're going. Look up those little special events that they're having, things you can do or for low prices um, that you can experience and have a good time without spending thousands of dollars to do it. So that's something to think about, especially if you have children. Now. This right here. I don't condone it at all. But this is some information that I've had to talk with my daughter kind of sort of about. Um, and I don't condone it at all. I, I used to be out there and all that good stuff. So I made my share of mistakes. I ain't been saved all my life. I went to church all my life, but I ain't been saved all my life. And... I do recognize that we do things and we go places that ain't good for us. But, like I said, bring your own. Bring your own. You don't know. The way this world is crazy now, like I said, I don't condone it. By all means, do not do it. But I know for y'all, um, high schoolers, um, college and fresh out of college 20s them 30s that hadn't grew up 40s 50s that still thank y'all the macaroni and cheese and a bag of chips um yeah don't just go to any hole in the wall them little clubs y'all y'all gonna go do that stuff them kids y'all kids y'all doing the spring break and y'all going out here to these clubs and drinking and all that stuff because you're getting away from your parents and thinking you ain't going to be seen and y'all want to go out there and do this and do all that. Bring your own. Ain't no sense of wasting no money. You're going to pay $5 for a shot and you can buy the whole bottle for a shot. I mean, for the cost of that shot. Bring your own. I mean, yeah, you want to go there and have fun. Don't go to just any hole in the wall either. Go to a place that has some class that's got more than one door. Um, and, I mean, yeah, I know, you're going to drink. Sinners going to be sinners. They're going to do what they're going to do. 
And if you saved and still doing this stuff, bro, we got problems. But for y'all that ain't saved and y'all doing these extracurricular activities, bring your own. You don't never know what you get. You in that club. This girl is crazy down here, y'all. She is distracting me. She is distracting me, but this is so serious. Listen, y'all going to these clubs, y'all drinking. And, yeah, I mean, it's okay. You don't want to look like the left out eyeball. Okay, get your drink. Buy you one or two. Have a limit. It ain't good for you at all. But if you're going to do it, at least have a limit about how many you're going to do so you save your money. And if you're cute, you know, ladies, get a, get one of the guys to buy you a drink if they want to. But be careful with that because they might want something from you. So if that's the case, just wait till you get back to your room and finish whatever it is that you're doing. And watch your drinks because somebody could put something in it. You, you may think that they're buying you a drink and they've been to slip something up in there and got you crazy and you get missed and you don't come back from your vacation. You on permanent vacation, and we don't want that. Uh, even, you know, y'all do whatever y'all do. Um, I learned recently, you know, you got that special cologne that, you know, smells so lively. Or you got them little pain pills or poppers or whatever it is that you popping. Bring your own. Before you leave, listen, if you get caught, that's your own fault. Because you shouldn't be doing it in the beginning. But stop by your local drugstore. You know who they is on the corner, on the back side, whatever it is. You're getting what you normally get, and you know what you're getting. Now, you get down there and get something that you don't know them folk, and you get something, and that stuff be laced with something else. Again, you're on vacation forever. I'm just saying, like, bring your own. Bring your own food. Bring your own drinks. I mean, you may seem cheap or whatever, but guess what? You might be that one person that people always want to invite because they know you always got something. But that ain't no reason for you to bring it. But again, don't do it. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. It's not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for your body. And your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. But I know that some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all, is going to do what you do. And if you do, at least be safe about it. So, um, I think that about wraps everything up. Um, I really hope that the content in this video was very helpful. And, um, again, you know, I just wanted to come back and make sure that I invite you guys to... Um, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Um, pray the prayer out loud, and I welcome you to the warrior family of Jesus Christ. Until next time, be blessed. Love you. It's your girl Lady Lang back with another video. Um, I think this is video number three. Um, I just want to welcome you back. If you have not, um, click subscribe, like the video. Um, if you do, if you don't, it's fine. Um, but today I wanted to come and talk to you about some um, something that uh, we're all thinking about. Um, vacationing. It's almost that time. Um, and especially spring break. Um, yeah, spring break is coming up. So I'm going to teach you how to um, vacation on a budget. So um, the Bible said that we should be a steward. Okay, good. 
sorry another video mistake um but wait a second it wasn't playing it wasn't recording the whole time you don't make me say all of that <laughs> wait i think it was the 10 minute thing again see it just started when i clicked oh it jesus it probably stopped for the 10 minute thing again come on you did all of that I get, that's why you should just stay in your spot, camera lady. You over there drinking it with a spoon. You act like it's coffee. It's still recording. Dang it. Oh, it is. Oh, you want to? Yeah. No, stop that. Okay. I think you should start planning for next year. Um, Think about where you want to go. Go ahead and set those places up. Um, look online for prices, the average prices, and start saving your money up so you can be um, prepared for next year, you know, so you don't have to do a staycation or a round the vacation. okay? Um, so, again, places to go. I'm going to put that clip up.